Well, it's not a new crime. Package theft, mail theft, stealing packages off front porches or out of mailboxes. In January, Boise police say there were four reports of mail theft, and it may not sound like much, it's, but it's something to take note of. Sergeant Joe Martinez from the Boise Police Department joins us now to talk about why we should be paying close attention to our mailboxes. Hi, Sergeant. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, I mean, talk about, is this a new problem for, Bo for Boise? I wouldn't say it's a new problem. This is something that uh, kind of ebb and flows with the uh, uh, criminal groups out there, uh, but it's definitely something worth talking about. As you mentioned, we had about four reported mailbox thefts in January. Uh, there was probably others that were unreported, uh, but it's definitely something that we want the citizens to be aware of and to be able to you know, keep an eye on and, and hopefully avoid be becoming victims of a crime like this. What is it about mail that attracts thieves? I mean, what are they looking for? So it's a little different than some of the package thefts where um, we have groups that are trying to take packages off porches and try to find something of value. Uh, mailbox theft, oftentimes they're looking for more uh, personal identification. They're looking for cash, gift cards, uh, bank statements, uh, date of birth, things of that nature to where people can uh, gather intel in order to do crimes of, uh, you know, uh, identity theft and things of that nature. So I know, you know, for most of us, there isn't much we can do to secure our mailbox, but maybe what tips do you have to protect ourselves against mail theft? Yeah, there's several things that you can do. Obviously, there's uh, paperless billing now, which we definitely recommend, um, you know, doing that on the computer and online. Uh, but if you do have sensitive information that you're needing to put out in your mailbox, um, you might think about use, utilizing, uh, um, you know, going directly to the post office, going directly to UPS, or even just waiting till the mail carrier gets to your house and handing it to them directly is also another way that you can, you know, avoid putting out sensitive information. The one other thing to think about is, um, you know, flagging a lot of times, you know, putting that red flag up and alerting people that there is mail in your mailbox, um, one of the things you can do is is not do that again, hand it directly to the mailbox carrier and also notifying the uh, the UPS when you're going to be, or USPS, excuse me, when you're, when you're going to be gone for vacation or things of that nature so that your mail isn't piling up, giving people uh, uh, more opportunity to target you. Ooh, good reminders there. And um, f lastly, I mean, what should you do if you believe your mail was stolen? So definitely if your mail uh, is stolen or you believe it's stolen, uh, you definitely can reach out to the Boise Police Department. The um, non-emergency number for uh, Boise Police is 208-377-6790. Uh, um, there's also online reporting. You can get a hold of USPS uh, directly um, as well as far as reporting something like that. And also we recommend alerting your neighbors if you ever have your mail stolen. Sometimes it's not uh, you and, and your and your neighbors might not be aware that their mail was stolen. A lot of times people will go down down the line and, and hit several mailboxes in a, in a specific neighborhood type thing. So uh, definitely alerting neighbors and just being vigilant and, uh, and aware of your surroundings is always was good. We appreciate all the community partners we have out there and helping police uh, police the city. Yeah, a lot of a lot of good tips there. All right, Sergeant Martinez with the Boise Police Department. Thank you so much for joining us here on the news at noon. Absolutely.